Hey guys, welcome back to It's Taylor Renee. I am moving. Literally going to Chicago for one day and then coming right back and squeezing in all the apartments that I love. Because if you don't know, I'm from the East Coast and Chicago is in the Midwest. So it, I really do not want to make a lot of trips. Um, my budget was max 1500. I didn't want an apartment or for what I was looking for was a studio or a small one bedroom somewhere between that i did not want a super large space or anything i'm just starting my career so i just don't feel like that like i would need that much space like it's, i just don't feel like that would be necessary be going to the airport early af in the morning and then flying right back so we will start this journey tomorrow just got to the airport this is the first time i've come to the airport with just my purse so we are going to we're really really early so we'll see how bad it is but i'm starving i'm gonna have to get some starbucks before i'm on i'll go dang here we come oh white we thrilled that oh she liked it mm -hmm. hmm. so we are now picking up the car yeah, I feel like I look dead, but I'm gonna do my makeup maybe like in the car or in the bathroom. I haven't decided, but we are in Chicago. So yeah, I'm going to jump into these apartments. I have to do like two virtual apartments, but most of the apartments are in person. So this is the Draper. I really love their lobby. They had a lot of different common areas that were really cool. So this is the studio apartment. I actually viewed a lot of different um, apartment styles with this leasing agent, but this was my favorite. Um, there was also some affordable one bedrooms, but this is the studio. It had um, like the loft style industrial look that I really liked, like it went in that aesthetic. Um, the countertops I thought were really cute for a studio, lots of cabinet space. Um, I just didn't like that there wasn't a bathtub, but you know, if you don't care about that, I think it's a really cute shower. Um, this was the second apartment. I'll be honest, y'all, this was not my favorite. This first um, apartment that he showed me, I was not too crazy about. I thought the floors were not it for me. I felt like some of the things were updated, but not enough. Um... I did think that there was a lot of space for the bathroom um, and I think some like you know flexible uh, storage space but the second one oh my god this freaking y'all yeah, this closet was huge I was like yeah I could do this so you had that closet and then you also had the kitchen which was similar to the first one but I feel like this one was felt bigger I don't know maybe it's me um, and then you also had this other uh, closet right here, which I was like, dang, two closets? Yeah, I feel that. I actually wish that wall wasn't there. I feel like it would actually make the room kind of feel bigger. Um, there actually isn't any AC either. Um, and then you, oh, the bathroom. I also thought this was cute. Like, I don't know, like, gave me a little city vibes. It's cute or whatever. So this is Montrose. I might be saying his name wrong, but y'all, this apartment was so cute. I loved it. I loved it. I loved it a lot. I'm not a crazy like person about um, like certain things, but it is really high building. So if you don't want to be on the top floor, I would not suggest it because you could feel the height. Um, but I definitely love this apartment. I felt like the storage was great. Like look at this closet, y'all. This closet, y'all. Oh my goodness. And then like when you walk into the living space, I felt like it was a really big studio. Like. It didn't even feel like a studio for me like I was like this is pretty spacious like you could really get creative with this um, however they do have flexible rent and I didn't like that well, update you guys it is like three four no it's, it's like yeah it's three Correct. I've been running around since that last video so now we have an appointment we literally squeezed in one more because I really wanted to see this apartment before I left. Um, it's called the Lawrence House. Um, these apartments I would not consider super expensive also. I'm gonna put in um, when I do in the description some of the pricing I saw 
um, I am going to kind of talk a little bit about it, but I really feel like the next apartment that we go view was like on my top top list. So I'm going to go view that and yeah, then I'll be reportedly done for the day. Like I really took a fucking trip to Chicago in one day and looked at apartments. That's fucking crazy. I don't think I'll do it again, but. So this is the Lawrence house. We viewed a little studio. Um, it was like a two level studio. Thought it was cool, but would I do it all the time? Probably not. Um, the ladder would probably mess me up for real, but I really loved how quaint and cozy it felt. I feel like it would be really cute. Um, and I also really like the storage space. The building is a little bit vintage, but they really renovated it so well that it gives it like a cute little aesthetic. Um, it definitely has the same vibe as the Draper as far as amenities um, and as far as like the bathroom, it looks exactly the same um, and a lot of people, a lot of the residents use the same um, amenities within each building. Thank you guys for watching and I hope this video was helpful.